All right. Now, as I said earlier on, let's talk about in terms of the strategy for people who are short term in orientation and the traders who are longer term in orientation. Now, if you are shorter term in orientation, more likely you probably want to stay out for the meantime or in cash and wait for this capitulated selling to end. <clears throat> One of the signals that you'll probably get is that big volumes will normally come on those capitulation days. And you might also get some patterns appearing. They could be small bases, small Ws, small little rectangles. You might get patterns like this to help along. If, if you don't see a big uh, volume day, it might take that in a matter of several days rather than all in one. Now our objective over here is really to be able to make sure that we're, gonna, we're ready to trade the big bounce that's going to come. However, remember the first bounce of a rally you have to learn to take the profit off because normally trends don't just change and go the opposite direction immediately, even in a V shape. So you want to take some profits the minute the rally starts to fizzle. And then the minute the market starts to pull back, if it is shows your controlled pullback, buy that controlled pullback. If you see it is an agitated decline once again, then just stay back, wait for the market to do another capitulation and then do the same thing trade an oversold bounce and try to take your profit when the rally fizzles. Remember, for your short term uh, traders, you can buy more aggressively when you see the trend reversals are actually showing their signals already. By that time, you go back into your regular mode and you can be that lean mean fighting machine you've been once before. Right now in a downtrend like this, you want to be able to be quite circumspect and you have to choose the battles that you take. For the longer term trader or holder, let's look at it in two points of view. If you're still in and you are light, you may want to hold on to your position and wait again for the next buying opportunity, such as, for example, the end of a capitulation to add to the position. If you're currently too heavy, my advice is if you see a rally, try to lighten in, into that rally regain some degree of comfort into that and then wait for another capitulation to end so that you can move your what you've sold back into those particular conditions i'm worried that if you're too heavy right now and the market decides to go down extendedly more you might start to freak out and probably get frightened when prices are much lower when you should be really looking at the ability to add back into a position so if you want to be able to gain that level of comfort, do it into a rally and not when prices are just dropping like a rock. If you're currently out of the market, let's shift first into a short term plan, because remember, the trend is down after all. What we did in the short term is you will just simply stay out, hold out from here for the meantime until a base or a capitulation is shown and then you can start injecting your positions when you see a lot more technical confirmations that your trend has already been exhausted into the downside your objective over here really is to be able to regain value over time but at the same time you want to get control back of your position because if you're too heavy into your position you will not be making logical decisions in your portfolio because the pain might be too unbearable for you so try to be able to reduce yourself in, into that stance so that you can gain your composure. I know you are long term, but I'm telling you, a lot more people sell their positions almost at the lowest point of a market because even at that point, that's when people become the most fearful. And that, believe me, is where you don't want to sell. So what should I keep in mind in terms of this? First, Let's look at this in terms of a survival guide for us traders. One, rising tides raise all ships and falling tides sink them. And what that means is, I know we will be talking about particular stocks in a little while, but remember, understand that if you are in a bearish market or in a bullish market, a bear market tends to engulf everything into a downside, it does not play favorites. It's the fear of the people that will drag prices down. And it's because of that that you might be saying, oh, I'll hold this or I'll hold this or a small cap, mid cap or big cap. But you will see that the intensity from all of them will do relatively the same. Now, the only advantage I see of holding on to the blue chips as compared to the small caps is 
after this worst part is over, the first things that will rally will be the more liquid and the larger issues. I would suspect the index stocks will go first because this is the opportunity that a lot more people out there can actually buy these very, very much in-demand issues at crazy in-demand prices. Second, always and always wear your life jacket in this market because you have to protect your capital right now you're in the game as long as your capital is still intact if you allow yourself to buy too much and you try to be able to survive in a market like this it might really test your patience if you end up selling like i said towards the lower end of this range you might not have so much left so do uh, what I said earlier on, that if a rally comes up, you probably want to get your sales back of comfort and safety by liquidating some positions so that you have more ammunition to take advantage of this just in case the market continues to go down or to retest the load that it's had before. Three, and very, very importantly, if you dare use margin, please use margin wisely. Now, the use of margin is the ability for someone to borrow money from their broker to be able to use that to buy stocks out of their cash value. Now, there's a time and place to use margin. This is not that time. And the reason is because in a downtrend, you have time ticking against you. Interest charges are on the loan that you make and prices continue to drop down while you're paying interest charge. So if you dare use margin in a market like this, it must be only a small portion of the margin. Don't maximize your margin levels here. Bring it down. Perhaps at this stage, if you're going to do at a maximum, you probably only want to have 30% or 20% for now. And when the market starts to base up or show some bottoming process, then you can always re-inject that later. The last thing you want is to go through a margin call when prices are coming towards their lows. Again, prices can stay down here for an extended period of time. And again, that will just track itself against you if you don't know how to use margin well. Next, pick your trend time frame and stick to it. Know what I mean by that? When you're coming out as a trader, you have to decide on the on onslaught. Are you going to trade in the short term or are you going to trade in the long term? If you decide to be a short term trader, then you have to follow short term rules. If you're going to trade in the long term, then you have to follow long term rules. So you don't be switching from short term to long term, short term to long term or long term to short term only because your emotion tells you to do it. There should be some logical sense into it. A typical example would be you trade a stock in the short term, it starts falling down and you take a little bit of a loss and then you say, OK, I won't use short term cut loss procedures anymore because I'm already down a little bit and I'll just hold it in a longer period of time so that eventually I can recover. And in the medium term, prices continue to fall down and that shakes you out because you get so extendedly feared on the situation and you end up selling your stock at a much lower condition. So don't change a short term position, make it a long term position for the wrong reason. Next, trends take time to turn. You and I are all wanting this market to turn around immediately. And I hope it happens tomorrow. But the conditions we have to be realistic about. Today in society, we deal, we're dealing with something that we've never seen before. Some of us never in our lifetime. And this unprecedented event can be, you know, can put us and test our patience to the max. And so if you understand that trends will take time to turn, you probably want to limit your purchases and extend it over time rather than just buying everything one time, big time on a capitulating end. Because one capitulated could actually go through a series of the second or a third or a fourth. So please understand, it takes time to trend, turn around. And in that trend turning around, you have to be able to inject your positions gradually as well. That's the more logical thing to do during this time. And finally, after here, we are preparing and planning for everything we're doing. When it is time to act, please leave your emotion behind. That means that if it's time for you to sell a position, do it. If it's time for you to enter a position because the signals warrant it, then do it. Because if you let your emotions always take control of this, then you'll always be finding yourself as a laggard or always in the delay of the, what the trend conditions is pushing forward. Okay, so that brings me to a wrap up. 
uh, of what I wanted to present to you today. I want to leave you with some words of wisdom. In many ways, the stock market is like the weather in that if you don't like the current conditions, all you have to do is wait a while. And markets can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. For those people who are on margin, please highlight what this means because you might be pushed towards a condition that might go extendedly into a downside and you might be forced out of your positions. For those of you who still don't have too heavy a position, you've got decision making to make and just try to be make more of a prudent one. We have an opportunity today. Be ready to act when it's when it's uh, ready and when the technical signals come back into place and don't try to be able to take too much of an early position because that itself might prove to be quite a difficult thing to stand on. So with that, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much and good luck to uh, our fellow uh, traders and investors out there. I know we're in difficult times, but like they've said before, crisis periods like this will bring out the next opportunity. And it's all about whether we know how to be able to take advantage of it or not. So try to be able to survive this a little while longer so that these new opportunities can come for us to be able to take.